guys, welcome to the 30 paintings in 30 days project. So every day of this month, at least 30 days of this month, we are gonna create a little painting a day and we're gonna see what happens. I'm gonna experiment mostly with watercolor and gouache and um, let's get to painting and I will see you at the end. Hey guys, welcome to painting number 20 in our 30 paintings in 30 days little series of painting studies that we're doing. I wasn't gonna do another sky inspired painting, however, then I came across these pictures I took, um, which I don't think in real life they were as lavender as they printed on my mini, mini printer, but when they did print them this way, print this way, instead of reprinting them, I was very intrigued by the sort of dusky lavender color of these photos. And I do, I am intrigued by the idea of creating sort of fluffy cotton candy e lavender colored clouds is that a thing candy e anyway that's what we're going to do today so we have our inspiration book falling over in the corner there we go um and we're going to work right here i need to clean off my palette because it's very blue and yellow that won't work we are gonna to have to mix a color because this little palette of watercolors I have out doesn't have the right sort of color of purple I want, but that's okay. So we are gonna start with the color that's the mo closest, I think, to what I want is a Jane Davenport purple, it's called Mystic. So we're gonna grab some of that. We're gonna, we're gonna brown it up just a tad by adding a light, little tiny bit of um, Van Dyke Brown to it. Again, we're taking a teeny tiny bit, just dipping the corner of my brush in the paint at a time till I get a tone that I sort of like the shade of. So we have sort of a dusky, muted, purpley color. But now I need to make more of it because that was a good color, but there wasn't enough paint by any stretch for this. Okay. I'm going to take a little bit of ink. There, that's good. I like that. Okay. So we are going to start with um, an all, I think we're going to start with an all over wash. Okay, so I'm going to get my brush cleaned off here as much as I can in the filthy, disgusting water. And I'm going to get the whole thing wet. Okay, then I'm going to grab some of my paint And I'm gonna just brush it on and it's gonna sort of go everywhere. This is probably gonna be one of those paintings that we're not gonna do a whole lot of drawing on. And then you wanna just put just a light, really a light color of this paint. So you have just, instead of white, it's just slightly lavender. Okay, then I'm gonna take the color and um, we're gonna start sort of painting the negative space of our clouds. Now, you know, I might have to go in and um, add some whiteout pen. That wouldn't surprise me. Big puddle of water, there we go. So also, you know, again, have a rag handy. Sometimes when you're doing these things, um, it's handy to have the rag handy. Um, and also if you're, you know, sort of not used to doing these and you're not sure how you're gonna like it, you want to, don't wanna commit a big piece of paper or a big canvas. Again, these little painting studies, they're great for this. I'm just roughly mapping out where I want my shapes to be. I'm gonna 
wrap my finger in the rag. So I can just be a little bit more precise about where I'm blotting. Okay, now I'm gonna make a little darker shade of this color that we have, which means I'm gonna dry off the brush between grabbing different colors so that I don't add too much water. That was too way too much brown. So let's grab some of that purple. That's better. And then a little bit of ink. And I'm gonna darken up some parts. I like where this is going. Okay, let me go get my white watercolor. Hold on. Okay, this is an M. Graham. Um, watercolor and titanium white. I'm gonna use my the scrubby brush I've been using on the whiteout pen. I'm gonna put just a little bit of this white straight out of the tube onto our palette. Um, and it's gonna mix with the purple, which is fine. And I'm going to, with my brush straight up and down and scrubby motions, I'm gonna use the white that's mixing with the purple, at least to start. And this purple paint is, some of it's wet still. So if it's not mixing with the purple on the palette, it's mixing with the purple on the page, which is fine. Now I'm gonna go in, I'm not gonna clean my brush, I'm gonna go straight into the white that's more white and add some of those bright spots. And you know, when you finish this, this would be great on an art journal page. When you finish this, people may not be able to immediately tell, you know, what is that? Um, it's just an interesting, fun background. It's inspired by those purple clouds that we saw in those photos, but I mean, it's just an interesting background. Um, but that's what these studies are about, experimenting and playing, sometimes with just one color, and it's about the movement and, of the paint, and it's about blending it and seeing what kind of marks you can get, and other times it's about working on a composition and color combination. So it just really depends. Okay, I'm gonna take my little tiny liner brush and some of the purple paint that's on here that's undiluted with the white. And I'm just gonna, one thing I'm noticing is it needs some contrast. So I'm gonna look around at the parts of the background that are dark and make them just a little bit darker. I'm just tapping the brush to the paper. I'm not scrubbing or pushing it up across too hard. And again, I'm just adding some contrast to some parts of the painting. And we'll see what it looks like when we lift up the tape. I think it's gonna be cute. I think it's, again, I think it's a great background.
And sometimes these little paintings for me, as you've seen, they're just about playing, you know, with a particular color, maybe something I wouldn't normally think of, but, you know, I was inspired by that photo that I took to try, like this one. That's cute. All right, let's give that a dry. I got so excited I started to take the tape off before turning the camera back on. So anyway, <laughs> uh, here we go. Let's take the tape off. This is really cute. I like this one. go look at that I like it so that is painting number 20 have you been able to keep up are you doing any paintings or drawings in this 30 days and if you are please do share leave something over in uh, one of the Facebook groups leave any questions comments or concerns down below and I will see you with the next one the speed fruit through version sorry um, if you'd like to support the free content here on Facebook or in the, fa uh, here on Facebook, holy cow. If you'd like to support the free content here on YouTube or over in the Facebook art groups, I certainly would appreciate that. You can of course join Patreon. We do have YouTube membership here for a, a small fee. And, um, also I have an Etsy shop and I have, um, PayPal tip jar and all that stuff. So check out the video description. Relevant links will also be down there. And, uh, yeah, don't forget the most important things. Stay healthy, stay safe, stay creative, and go out and do something nice for yourself because you deserve it. Do share your work with me. I would love to see what you're doing. That's it for now. See you later. Bye, guys.